At the moment, I think I'm a bit of a bit of a forward and midfielder, pretty competitive. Yeah, I like to use my body when I can and sort of burst away from the tackles, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Playing against bigger bodies, especially at home from a young age and training with them, doing the competitive drills there, I was either going to shy away from it or, or take it in my stride, and I think I did. Um, it doesn't phase me much anymore, and I think, yeah, you see it as a new challenge, I guess. That's something that, yeah, that I enjoy. I enjoy the challenge of coming up against a bigger body and trying to see how I compare it against them. Fogarty just trying to barge his way through. I look at a lot of people's games and try and take things out of their game and sort of try and put it into mine. If it doesn't work, I'll move on, I guess, to another aspect. And then if it does, I'll sort of keep it and try and keep working on it and try and keep improving it and use it to my best of my ability. Back to Fogarty, who sold it and then kicked it. Outstanding piece of work. Sort of didn't have the best year just with um, influence on games and impact. Yeah, sort of, I was pretty disappointed with it um, Yeah, until the, until the knee surgery. He's a really hard one to read in terms of where he goes on draft night because he started the season in the number one conversation. He's not there anymore because of a knee injury that really limited him across the season, which required a surgery about mid-year. But, geez, he's tough, he's powerful, he's strong. He can impact a game in the midfield and across half forward. He probably starts as a high half forward. A player can take a mark and kick a long goal with his damaging right foot disposal. But he's a powerful player. People love the way Darcy Fogarty plays because he's a natural footballer with a bit of grunt in him. Sort of got a lot of um, lot of proving to do, I guess, and um, obviously the year's been not what I would have liked it to be. There's things that I can take out of it and hopefully use in the future, like going through a form slump and how I want to get out of it for the future. But um, yeah, hopefully, yeah, we can move on pretty quick. It's a dream for every kid, I guess. Yeah, now that it's um, becoming a bit more realistic, it's starting to get pretty exciting. And, Especially after spending my time at the Crows and experiencing what it's like at an AFL club, it's sort of um, it's a pretty surreal feeling that that's what I could do for a job, and yeah, it's made it that much that much better and that much more exciting.